Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Shadow Binders 3. It is coming. It was launched uh, stealthily last night on shopclownfish.com. Mm -hmm. uh, we're taking pre orders through the website. We're not doing Indiegogo. We're we gonna, may do Kickstarter later. We though. may do Kickstarter later. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this book and we're going to talk, talk about why we won't use Indiegogo. And why we, we, we're not going to use Indiegogo again. Yeah. So uh, if that sort of thing interests you, please continue watching the video. If you have zero interest, in crowdfunding or our comics or uh, Indiegogo drama, you do not have to watch this video. You don't That's have to fine. watch it anyway. You don't I mean, have to watch fair. any of our videos. <laughs> so, you don't have to watch it. We any of like our it if you do. Yeah, we do like it. Uh, so is the algorithm. But anyway, we're going to talk about all this before you get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Um, so this is on shopclownfish.com. That is our, uh, our store. And we've actually done. Uh, one other pre-order campaign, it was a second chance offer for the two books we did uh, late last year and this year, which were Crimson Wren Volume 1 and previously on Clownfish TV. And I was pretty happy with how that worked because, yes, you can crowdfund on your own. You do not need Indiegogo or Kickstarter or any of those sites. And it just made things a lot easier to keep track of. Um, so Shadowbinders 3 is up after this will be the first new Shadowbinders material in 10 years, almost 10 years. Yeah. So, so talk I'm, about it. I'm very excited about this one. This is my, my favorite one. I My favorite chapters I've written of this book so far. And there's going to be this big battle. It's going to be on a train. There's a lot of cool stuff that happens that ties back to the earlier books in this in this uh, book. Um, for those of you who don't know what Shadowbinders is, it's steampunk fantasy, romantic comedy. It's a girl from our world inherits a magic ring, and she gets transported to a steampunk fantasy world. Uh, Bellatier, where she meets the crew of the True North and and Crimson Wren, who, you know, is is a, a piece of work. And um, basically, if you like Neon and I on here, you probably like this book because it's you know very much Neon and I is a book. I, I um, am a piece of work. Yes, you're yeah. not as into yourself as he is though, but you know, I'm pretty um, into myself. <laughs> not not like this. So yeah, this is gonna be the third book of this. Now it is about three quarters of the way done. Um, so Neon's going to finish it up and we are actually not going to ship it until we're, we're hoping it'll be earlier than July, 2024. I, I am not even going to make that promise. But I'm going to say estimated shipping July, yes, 2024 because shit happens. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of detail, but the, the book, uh, the Crimson Ren book one, the reason it's, it's so late was not because of us. We had it done. Um, there was a, a, a issue with the printer changing ownership and the original owner apparently went to jail and there was a lot of months yeah. of back and forth and panic attacks trying to get the book done. Finally got the book. We have it about three quarters of the way shipped. Yes. So uh, I should be finishing that up shortly. Most of it I think is international at this point because when the address is import, um, it's not as easy as just hitting the print button and no. purchase. Um, you have to do a lot of work to the address. Yeah, so so just to take a peek behind the curtain here when it comes to actually shipping these books out, it's not like magic. You don't just like hit the magic print button and they all go out the door. Long and short, it makes it, it makes it longer. way harder. And um, Kickstarter, the biggest problem with Kickstarter is people can back on Kickstarter and not give you a physical address. So you have to chase them with a survey. And at, currently at this point, probably a third of our Kickstarter backers did not turn their surveys in. Just turn your surveys in, guys, so we can get them out to you. We can't ship it without an right. address. Survey, um, also, if you've moved or anything, uh, please let us know because we have a bunch of books sitting here that got returned yep. because addresses weren't correct, Yep. which is fine. I'm just saying this is why it's taking us a little longer. Now, yep. um, the, the Clownfish TV book, it should be here anytime. It's actually on the boat. It should be here. It's on the boat. Anytime. We couldn't go through U.S. printer because that's another whole story. But Well, because of what happened with Crimson Wren. Indiegogo go didn't printer. give us the money till way after the fact. Like, yes. The campaign was over, and usually you wait about a week. It was way past a month until we got the money for the book. And what was weird was they tried to argue that we somehow, they had to, to hold the money to check to see that we didn't violate guidelines. I'm like, but you checked it before we ran the campaign. We ran the campaign for a month and all that. Now you're checking when we ask you where the money is. Yeah. Um. So I, I've got this theory and I've been talking to other people who use Indiegogo and they're having, they're finding some alarming discrepancies in their disbursements. Uh, 
I personally believe Indiegogo is holding on to money as long as they can, and I think they might be shortchanging people as well. Can't this, speak to that part because it didn't happen to us. That Just did not happen to us. Anecdotally, we're hearing. Anecdotally, and you know, there's that whole issue people are talking talking about. Uh, you know, shadow banning. Again, I can't speak to that. I do know that backers are irritated because they basically like make you pay a tip and they you think you're tipping oh yeah yeah you think you're tipping the creator but you're actually tipping the website which is who real, also took a bunch of fees from the creator who also took a bunch of fees from the creator and then they hold your money right so um because of the delay in getting the money we couldn't order the books and they're coming but they were supposed to be out this month and they might be a little bit i think last month even oh, was it oh, september i don't know the reason there was a delay again was not our fault <laughs> They, um, yeah, they're so coming. So the, we wanted to lot ourselves a lot of time yeah. with this one in case other instances um, of problems happened again. Uh, we were ahead of the game both times. G given, the, wasn't us. given the state of the world right now, okay, because uh, nothing has been the same since the pandemic. Given the state of the world right now, uh, just expect that, you know, we're going to hope for the best. Uh, I would say July 2024 is reasonable. Uh, I am hoping to God nothing else happens, but I, 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 I'm reasonably, reasonably comfortable that we can uh, get it done by then. But we yeah. just want to allot ourselves a lot of time yes. and because we can't control what other people do. Yes. So um, that's long and short of it. So the book's up for pre-order now, and I think you have different options. I think you, have, you can get just the book. Um, you can get the book signed. Uh, they're limited. You Who can the hell get, would want that? I don't know. You can get the book and three or five prints. You yep. can get a three pack if you miss book one and two, and you can get book one and two and three and five prints. So there's different, five different options you can use. Um, I think we, we might be putting it on Kickstarter as well yeah. down the road because I know some people would just feel more comfortable that way. Yeah, uh, and that's that's fine. I mean, um, you know, we're using Shopify, so that, I mean, there is protection on Shopify as plus well. Plus, you can break it up in payments. You can too. Yes, you can break it up in payments on Shopify, which I like. Now, this is um, this is the same system, the same setup that a lot of you know, because I'm a big uh, toy collector, like Super Seven, and a lot of the different toy companies use the same setup. And they basically what they do is they have an ongoing uh, bunch of pre-orders that you know they'll have a bunch of different things at, you know going on at once and you might pre-order a figure this year and it comes out next year or whatever but they have to know how many people actually want to buy are they going to make enough to you know warrant uh, a, a run of figures in this case you know we figured out you know 500 copies of Shadow Buyers 3 uh, pays for the print run and makes it worth our time uh, mm -hmm. to do it you know um if 500 of you don't want Shadow Buyers 3 then we got to rethink things a little yeah. bit and be like, you know, <laughs> did, did people not like the first two? What's going on here? You know, but um, so I'm not even putting dollar amounts up. It's just like we, it's going to take us 500 backers to do it, you know, and we'll go from there. If if we don't hit funding within the 30 days or 35 days or whatever we have on here, you know, within a month afterwards, I'll just refund everybody's money. I'm pretty comfortable that we're going to. Uh, yeah. Again, I'd, I'm really going to have to re if we don't, I'm going to have to be like, yeah, well, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> you know. Yeah. But uh, uh, I think you guys, a lot of people have been asking for shout buyers. Now, you also showed where you're actually keeping it like you're keeping all the projects with status reports. Right, right. So people can can see like you they will tell you every time we get something in or whatever. So you know exactly where things are at. Yes. So you want to make sure everybody knows where things are. I, um, so this is the current status of everything. Yeah, I stole this from Super 7. They do it on their website too, where because they have so many things in pre-order that they have like this big long list, and every time they get an update, like, "Hey, this figure's in production," or "This figure's it's coming to our warehouse, but it's still gonna be another two months until we get them all shipped out." Just so you know, just because we said we got in, because a lot of times I think what people think is like, "Hey, our action figures came into the warehouse today, and here's a picture of it on social media." That means I'm getting mine tomorrow, right? Yeah. I'm like, "Well, no, we're not Amazon, so no." Uh, we can't it's just me, man. It's basically at this point, it's just geeky. If, if this continues that we are constantly, uh, taking pre-orders and constantly shipping stuff, we probably will have to get more help just to, just to get this stuff out the door. My mom does help sometimes. She so, does. Some of your books are by my mom, by my mom, but mostly I'd say like 90% of them are me. I did a couple. 90% of them are me. <laughs> so. 90, 98%. Um, so anyway, that's what's going on. This is why we aren't using Indiegogo. We may use Kickstarter. If you have backed the um, Crimson Run book on Kickstarter, please make sure that we have your address. Yes. If you've backed yes. it on Indiegogo or Kickstarter and your address changed, please make sure we have your address. Where can they send that to? 
Uh, I would say orders at shopclownfish.com or even hit me up. We've had a couple people hit me up on social media on Twitter. Uh, I, you know, don't hit me up because I don't check my messages. No, she doesn't check her DMs. I'll check I, mine. I, I don't check especially Twitter because I've got so many weird things. I don't even look. Yeah, because sometimes the spam the spam folder gets a hold of the emails. But go ahead. I mean, even, yeah, just reach out to me. It's at Neon on Twitter. And uh, just tell me, like, okay, this is my email address. I can, I can look in the system myself and see where things are at. Um, but, yeah, I, I just, I mean, I like the idea of doing it this way. Ideally... I would do everything this way because it just makes it, e- it, makes it so much easier for us. Uh, I just don't know if backers are going to like it this way. So that's that's what you're going to tell us. You know, do you, do you want us to to do more through the website? Do you want? Well, this has a lot of protections in place too. Yes. Way, this, this system. So and people yeah. can make payments too, which is good. Yeah. So anyway, are we going to wrap this up? I think we're going to wrap it up. So check it out. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Uh, again, that Shadowbinders Volume Three. Thank you so much for all the support you guys yep. have shown so far. If you want us to keep making comics. Uh, let us know. You keep, we'll keep making them and I'll keep packaging them. There you go. All right. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.